What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to the brand new Fallout series. We're going to watch episode one today called The End. Now, I personally have never played any of the Fallout games. I do know some things about them though. I've definitely seen gameplay before. I, I've definitely seen imagery from it. So I know the general concept. It's, you know, a nuclear Fallout. At least I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. So I know the concept. I just, I heard a lot of good things about this show. I wasn't planning on reacting to it, but after everyone was talking about how amazing it is, how fantastic it is, I was like, all right, I got to check it out. I have to check it out. I believe it's some of the episodes are directed by Christopher Nolan's brother, which is interesting. I don't, don't know, think I've seen any of his work before, but it'll be cool to see here. And yeah, let's just get into it. Maybe I'll even start playing the Fallout games. You know, if we do that, it'll be on my other channel, one of my gaming channels, uh, X Profusion 2. You can go check that out. Link should be in the description. So yeah, let's check this out. If you want to see the Fallout Cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link. Well, I was also in the description for that. And let's just get right into it. Yeah, I knew Wal Walton Goggins, that's his name, right? I knew he was in this. The White House had no comment about the president's whereabouts. America's crumbled this morning in Anchorage, Alaska. The specter of nuclear war facing this nation. Yep, nuclear war. When is this, the 50s or 60s or something? That's what it looks like. Oh, no, it's kind of futuristic. <laughs> the style looks like it's in the past, but then those buildings looked futuristic. Hey, honey, honey, get with Cooper. Let's get a picture. Uh, you bet, yeah. Oh, 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 Coop, 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 do your thumbs up. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to if that's all right. Why not? That's what you're famous for. Traffic yeah. bombs? Don't know what he's referring to. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Los Angeles sunshine coming through. Ow, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. only happy thoughts I'm not today. Yeah, nuclear war is on, uh, on the horizon here. Which, I mean, I'm assuming, based on what I know about the games, I, th I think a nuke's gonna go off. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, they told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than oh, your well. thumb? Then you're dead. They told us not to bother running. Damn. Can I have a slice, Dad? No, let me see. If I can't rustle you up, please. I'm getting prepared for it because I know what's going to happen soon. <laughs> it's got to happen soon. Oh! Damn, I didn't think it would happen actually that soon. <laughs> I thought it was going to be at least a couple more minutes. All right, one piece of cake coming up from my favorite cowgirl. Yep, she's putting the thumb up. I, I thought he was going to be a main character. How is he going to live? Unless it's far enough away. I don't know. <laughs> I love how the sound cut out. That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. No, it's not, bro. That's not a fire. Oh my god. Is that supposed to be Los Angeles? Because it kind of resembles LA a little bit. Yeah, he knows. I think he's just trying not to worry her in her last moments, probably. Dude, you gotta do something, maybe. I don't know. I think they were far enough, but probably, you know, should still get to cover. Oh, they have a fallout shelter. Nice. Damn. Dude, I have the chills. Oh, there's another one. What the fuck? Oh, wow. That's a crazy way to open it. They, they talked a little bit about what was going on. Something about the president being, oh, 219 years later? I enjoy participating in the Young Piper Association, which keeps me active. Science skills. Obviously, mine are nothing compared to my dad's, but I always relish a challenge. Intermediate phys ed. And I dabble in riflery. Damn. Oh, yeah, I've seen that image. It's definitely from the game. I'm participating in my family book club. 
We're still trying to get my brother on board. He'll come around when he's ready. Is he playing? He's playing a video game there. <laughs> organs are intact, and yet I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least one I'm not related to, and we have rules about that for a reason. <laughs> it is with sound mind and body that I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. So they all live in vaults, then, right? Probably to avoid nuclear radiation. Marriage application approved. <laughs> So her name's Lucy, okay. I know this actress, I think she was in Kick-Ass 2, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't think I've seen her anything else though, but I, I recognize her from Kick-Ass 2. She was one of the bullies. So she's basically just getting set up with some random guy. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. <laughs> After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. <laughs> 10 years of cousin stuff? <laughs> I am just excited for us to raise our kids together. Oh shit. Is this outside? No, this is not outside, right? Oh, it's got a projector. Oh, so it's an indoor room and it makes it look like it's outdoors. That's really cool. Oh, these sets are awesome. You can tell they put a lot of work into this. I'm curious who she's going to get set up with. Like, I don't know who the guy's going to be. Yeah, I wish she was here. Me too. Were you scared when you married mom? Terrified. <laughs> Well, I'd never step foot outside Vault 31. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother. Something tells me it's not going to be the same for her. I don't know why. I feel like she's just not going to have, she's not going to connect with this person. They're going to have some conflict, you know? <laughs> Must be nerve wracking. Her husband could be anybody. I'm aware. And as for his looks? Who knows? Big butt, no butt. <laughs> and if it's on the inside that counts. That's right. And in that respect, you could be a cannibal or just like cramps. But <laughs> Norman. So you got Lucy and Norman. Gatekeeper. Chat. Honestly, textbook tumbler jam. It's gonna take some time to fix. Probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and I can- Chat, what's going on? <laughs> Lucy, I love you. What? Oh. <laughs> Messing around with your cousin, it's- Oh, that's, that's her cousin. It's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? Yeah, I know. He was pretending he couldn't open it. <laughs> So that's Vault 32. I guess there's a bunch of them and they're all connected. I am Hank McLean, overseer of Vault 33. Oh, he's the overseer. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegrams. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people, but this trade will help us get back on our feet. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts in exchange we offer you a breeder it's so interesting they, they use that as a way to trade things is it gonna be walton goggins's character from before i mean he's oh no that's not him never mind he looks all right there's probably something wrong with him but he... on the outside he looks all right <laughs> there's gonna be something wrong with him though he's gonna be like a psychopath or something <laughs> i just know it <laughs> so what's your sperm count? <laughs> I guess that's important information. Your vaults doctor must check every physical, no? And sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America, <laughs> so... If our measurements are correct, radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. Oh shit, that's cool. We don't know much about what's up there. But then I look at my daughter, and such a beautiful bride, and her new husband. And I am not afraid. I feel hope. Something's gonna go wrong, man. I'm, I don't know. I just always have, have those feelings. Like... <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I don't trust this Vault 33. For some reason, I feel like there's something there's something going on with them. They're gonna do something to 32. Whether it's like steal food or supplies or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't trust him. I'm telling you, there's something something's gonna happen. Isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives is gonna happen right here. Yeah, he's gonna do something. Everything with the hand me downs and Or he's just hoping for sex. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess so. Yeah. Never mind, maybe he's just gonna do that. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> 
I still don't trust him. I don't know. On the table, there's a perfectly good bed over there. What are you doing? <laughs> That's where you eat. I guess you could just clean the table. Whatever. What is he doing? Oh, he's checking out vault 32. Wait, so he, they're, they're 33. They're, that's 32. I think I mixed up the numbers before. Yeah, so they have obviously lack of food, probably, if their wheat just, you know, was gone. And he's got some bad scars on his back. Does he just wipe it off on the table? <laughs> By the way, I didn't know the show was going to be um, TVMA. I mean, obviously, it's TVMA at this point. I thought I thought it was going to be a TV 14, PG 13 type thing. I, I'm i happy it's TVMA, though. I much prefer that, so that's a good thing. I feel like you can be a little more real, a little more authentic like that, you know? Oh my god, what? What the hell? Yeah, so 32 is planning something. I don't know. I don't know what. Oh shit. Yeah, 32 is gonna like steal shit. I don't know. You can tell they're. Were those gunshots? Oh, he's just, oh shit. From the surface. Raiders. Oh, yo. <laughs> they all are? Oh, so Raiders came into the vault, killed all the people in the vault. And then now we're trying to take over this vault. Ooh. Damn. Just so you know, this was the best day of my life. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> oh. Oh, did he? I think she stabbed him. No. Oh, shit. There you go. There you go. There's also a lot of knights. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say there's also knives behind you, but yeah, that works too. Oh, I wouldn't pull. I wouldn't pull it out. I wouldn't pull it out. Wait till you get to a doctor. Oh, so they have like, yeah. I guess they got a lot of good technology. So that's that's definitely useful. Oh shit! These are dangerous raiders. They're probably people starving. Yeah, you could tell by the way he was chugging that water and he, he, what he was eating before. He was really hungry. Like you could tell they didn't have food. I just assumed the vault was just low on food in general, but I didn't realize they were people from the surface that came in. Oh shit! Oh damn! Oh. You have to shoot him. Oh, it's not a not a gun gun. It's a dart gun, or I guess like a. Oh shit. <laughs> I wonder if that dart just knocks him out or it kills him. I don't know. Holy shit. And like, if they were born on the surface and they've lived there for so long, they must be really hardened people. Oh! Holy shit! Oh! Oh shit. Nice. Damn. Oh no, there goes the beautiful background. Oh, her husband died? Oh wow. Something tells me she's gonna die too. Oh! Oh! Jeez. What is that, drugs? Oh! This shit's insane. Nice. Saved her brother. He's still alive? Oh, there you go. <laughs> ah, her father's gonna die. 100% her father's gonna die. Damn. He's drowning him in a bucket of pickles. 
Oh, come on. That's a bomb. What the hell? How are they going to get out of this? I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. They are the product of one of life's tricky little choices. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Them or her. What? I mean, he's going to choose his daughter over them any day of the week. Damn. Hey, stop, stop. Wait, he's not going with her? You are my world. Oh, shit. I knew he was going to die. I had a feeling. It just makes sense, but didn't want to see it. You look like your mother. What? So they they knew each other. I mean, I, I just thought maybe he knew her by reputation, but it seems like he, he knew her personally. Wait, oh, they're not killing him. Oh, okay. Maybe you should do what you do best. Run and hide. How big is that explosion going to be? Damn. So what did they, they did that for him or for the food? Or like, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it took a lot of supplies. They must have. It must have been for that. Damn. Is this before or is this... When is this? Maximus? Oh, so I guess we're going to get to see the life of different characters. And I'm assuming they're all going to meet up eventually. So I guess this is what the world looks like. Yeah, I mean, I guess the whole world didn't get nuked necessarily, right? It was just certain parts of it. And some of it's going to look somewhat normal. I mean... This doesn't look too touched. It is the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. One day as squires, you will help knights find and identify pre-war tech. What the hell is that? I feel like there's so much to this world that I, I have no idea. Like, like I said, like I said, I never played the game, so I, I don't know what type of shit is actually out there. Whoa, who are these people? I just realized, are those kids up there on that watchtower? What the hell? What kind of model is that? It's the T-60. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Okay. And get this, we're going to the wilds. Hell yeah! <laughs> so is the wilds the areas where the nukes were dropped? <laughs> what the hell? What happened? Oh! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, why did someone do that? I guess if they wanted to... Wait, what? Are they blaming him for it? We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. Lucy, but you're talking about... Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute, okay? It, it's just enough time to... Okay, I, I know we're just... We're brainstorming here, and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm. Maybe But for you. that's not so... <laughs> Maybe for you. I know that, I but... know we're all hurting right now, but our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. Okay, let's move on. They don't want to find Dad. It's her father. It's her father. Of course she's going to want to find him, you know? She's probably gonna end up going alone. Maybe her and her brother? Oh, I just realized he has a thumbs up on that thing. Well, <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> I've, I've seen that image before so many times. Like that's, that's one of the things I was mentioning. I've seen imagery from Fallout before. The Nuka-Cola I've also seen before, which looks eerily similar to Juggernaut from Call of Duty Zombies, which you can see right back there in my room. Oh shit. Oh shit. So they are going. Okay. Just the three of them? Hold the elevator. I don't think she wants her brother to come. Take her and Norm. To my back. Oh, so it's just her going. Okay, alright. I'm going with you. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> oh shit. I love how bright it is. That's the first time she's ever seen the outside, right? 
I really wonder how it's going to look out here. Well, it, de it definitely looks very uh, dead out here. You can literally see bones all over the place. Oh my god. Is that the water? Oh yeah, she's near the water. Oh, Santa Monica, right? This has got to be LA. Okie dokie. <laughs> she, she says that a lot. <laughs> we have given you a name, food, what? education. Oh. I, I thought I thought he said his name his name was food like they were giving him a name and that name was food. <laughs> oh, I see what he means. Okay. I understand you're a friend of Aspirin Dane. Yes. You're aware of their injury. Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Do they think he did it? Your fellow Aspirin say it was you. Oh, I I don't I don't think it was him. Speak. I <laughs> that is a terrifying voice. I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Oh, shit. I mean, he's, he's pretty brave for admitting that, but probably kind of dumb to admit that, too. <laughs> Violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. Are you weak? I don't want to be. I, I want to thank you for your guidance and for giving me a home. Good boy. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Oh shit, he's taken, okay. Wasn't expecting that. But I don't think he did it though. You know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. <laughs> Probably. They asked if it was you. Yeah, they asked me the same thing. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. It is your most sacred duty to protect your lord, Knight Titus. Knight Titus. Is he gonna get some sort of branding? Oh, T. Approximation of the target for your lord. He does not look familiar to me, but I could be wrong. A dog? Oh, companion. <laughs> I thought I thought that was a target too. I was like, what do you mean a dog's a target? These goddamn mech suits are awesome. Damn! What the fuck? Does that launcher shoot random objects? What the hell was that? I shot a, a foot, but a leg, or a baby's leg, but it could have been a doll leg. I, I don't think it was a an actual baby's leg. I hope not. You're telling me the supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Hell, some respect. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, so yeah, I've been seeing him on the poster. So is this, this is Walton Goggins character, but we saw him in the beginning too. That was 200 years before. So I guess he's still alive because of this, because of what the fuck? Why is this an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Huncho. Now you don't even know us. No, I do not. I wonder how he lost his nose. We got a proposition for you. A bounty came down. A huge one. Enough to be a last score for me and whoever's with me. Yeah, now somebody made a run from the Enclave. Oh, that's the same guy that Maximus is after. Oh, the dog's that guy's companion. I thought the dog was still gonna be Maximus's companion. <laughs> In California. <laughs> I'm so stupid. That's where you from, ain't it? Originally, I mean. Yeah. And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? <laughs> well, that don't sound like gratitude, do it, boys. How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. I do this shit for the love of the game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, it does shoot you with random objects. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. The ghoul. 
Oh, he's gonna... <laughs> wow. Is that the end of the episode? Damn. Directed by Jonathan Nolan. Yeah, so I, I knew it was directed by Christopher Nolan's brother. And, um... Wait, is this... It's not after credits, is it? Oh, no. It's just like a preview for the next episodes, which I have no... No reason to watch the preview if I'm gonna watch the rest of the episodes anyways. Phenomenal star. I really, really enjoyed that. I'm already immersed into this world. I'm already interested in this world. There's a lot of world building here. Three main characters that I feel like they focused on there. You got Lucy, Maximus, and the ghoul. And I feel like obviously the least of the episode focused on the ghoul there. But, you know, it's cool to see him there. But um, really like those other characters as well. And just even some of the side characters. There's just, just a lot going on here. But it all is really interesting. And I just can't wait to see all these things come together in some way. And I don't really know what direction the show's going to go in. Obviously, Lucy's going after her father. And Maximus is going to be going after that target. And then I guess now the ghoul is as well. So he might be actually, I have no idea. So that is, I guess, a way to intertwine them. But how is Lucy going to come across them? I have no idea. But I love how it looks. The budget's there. You can tell they put a lot of work into this. There was no scenes that I felt like were clunky or misaligned. Like everything felt so just well executed. The dialogue's been really good in general. There's been nothing too like ridiculous. Like everything feels like there's a lot of, um, I want to say like, satirical elements a lot of just really there there are some crazy things in this show i will say but it all works to me like it's, it doesn't feel out of place and i'm definitely interested in playing the games now because i do feel like i'll get more knowledge on this universe i don't know if this is like properly adapted or anything like that. i don't know if this these characters exist in the games like i don't know how that works i've been i've been hearing people online saying it's not exactly like a, you know a one-for-one -one adaptation of anything in particular but i could be wrong on that i don't know but i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link. It'll be in the description as well. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.